Welcome back everyone. I'm Kat. And I'm Jorgos. And we are realistic DIYers and I almost <laughs> fell. <laughs> we have one important question for you today. Is there anyone that doesn't have one coffee table top that does not need attention? I'm sure everybody's coffee tables has a mark, a dent, a mark pen, a scratch, something. And you're always looking at, oh, I need a new one. Oh, I need to freshen. Oh, I need to put another layer on top. I need to do a bit of varnishing. I'm sure everybody has one table that needs attention within a house. We're here to help. So where do we start with that? How about not just one? but four possibilities, four ideas, and we're going to show you each one. And then after we do this, we're going to choose the best option to finish it off, and then we're going to repaint it and have it finished and enjoy our coffee. Realistic DIY results. Our own coffee table in our own living room. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Setting up the comparison side by side, Yoda starts by measuring four equal sections. So you'll see the result as it happens. I'm going to start with the mouse sander, which you can find the link to our review in the top right corner. As you can see, no vacuum attached this time, just to show you what happens. Applying not too much pressure and circular movements. Ah, oh, and we are done. 11 and a half minutes. One way down. On to the next. Good job we were outside for this. So now you can see how important the vacuum is for indoor spaces. Joris now takes on the orbital sander. Of course, you will find a link to a review. Check top left. So again, don't apply any extra pressure. You will find uh, this tool a little bit heavier than the mouse sander, but for two reasons really. If, oops, <laughs> reality, change the battery. Pressure with this this tool, uh, you might find that the disc pad will fly off or you will damage, you'll have indentations on the, on the surface, so an uneven surface. Again, the vacuum isn't attached and we're done. Wait, hang on, ooh, 14 and a bit minutes. All right, interesting. So he continues with the orbital sander, next using these really interesting net discs. Remember, you do need your special attachment for the extraction holes and you do need the vacuum to extract the debris because it can get caught up in the net and then cause surface, surface damage. And we're already done, just a smidge over 11 minutes and look how smooth and easy that surface is. Next up, for the fourth part of the experiment, we're using a, a type of paint remover. Apply liberally, it will help you. Now, I don't have PPE on, but do be aware, because of the fumes, it is better to be done outside or in a well-vented <laughs> space or area. <laughs> if only he had red hair flowing in the wind. So cover it completely. Just be careful you're not putting too much around the edges. You need to protect your edges. Keeping your brush clean in between coats. And as instructed by the product, it did say leave for 30 minutes. So we left for 30 minutes, come back, have a look, and give it a go. So we're using an abrasive sponge. It didn't do much. So we tried the scraper. It didn't do much. <laughs> so we take it off. We, we make a smooth surface throughout. And we go for a second application. This time I'm putting a lot more on, really gooping it up. Again, 30 minutes pass and try both ways of taking off the surface. Now you'll see a lot more is coming off this time, but the scraper did do a better job at this point. So a lot more coming off, but as it is a MDF coffee, to coffee table top, you will find it is porous and it really is sunken in. This is our third attempt. We are really scrubbing hard, but as you can see. So, <laughs> this is the result. Mouse sander, orbital sander, orbital sander with the net, and then the stripper. <laughs> what? Is it? <laughs> so the stripper wasn't able to remove the undercoat because it's in... It's it, absorbed, it's, it's sunken. Sunken into the, the MDF. Further than it can um, penetrate. Yeah. 
also it's a little bit more expensive if you do have the tools it's a little bit more expensive to uh because you, you know you need to pay like something in between 10 to 20 pounds or euros or dollars to buy the product then not only it was time consuming and it was effort yeah then the mouse sounder is giving you fast results but it might create dents as you work on the on the board the orbital sound the best solution is the orbital sound with the nets because in this case you don't create dents everything is smooth and nice and it's relatively fast clean as you go along clean as you go along if you use the uh, vacuum cleaner so this is how we're going to finish it off we're going to undercoat it and paint it over and finish it off so that we can enjoy a coffee to achieve a smooth overall base, move up your grit to 120, a little bit finer, working towards soft and smooth finishes for an, an even surface. Jorga starts by neatening the area, so we did an experiment on four sections, so we just need to tidy that up. Oh, straight away, Jorgas has found an old coffee stain that went right through and actually sort of lifted the, the MDF. Now, as you can see, don't forget to mark your surface prior, then you know what you've done and what you haven't done, each layer. And now you can see he goes right back over from one corner to another, preparing the surface all over on 120 grit. After going over one time just to neaten up and one time for an overall smoothness of a surface, here he goes and marks it again, but he's actually gone up to a higher grit of 180. You'll notice this takes less time. The result is satisfactory actually at this point. You could always go higher, you can increase to 220 grit, but this is absolutely fine. Moving on to the next stage, so we start using a sealant. So the first coat you can consider as an undercoat, but ah, do remember, masking tape your edges and your corners, it will help after. It'll keep everything clean and controlled. So getting right to the edges, spreading the MDF sealant. Just be careful not to leave any bristles from the brushes. A light sand, just by hand, just to prepare it for the next coat, cleaning off the excess, any dust. Second coat, sanding by hand again, just to smooth the surface, but also it does prepare it to absorb the next coat. Making sure you take off any outstanding debris so it stays smooth. Always stir, always prime your rollers, make sure they're coated. So thin and even, first coat. Keep your coats thin, not too patchy. Don't forget in between, you don't need to wash your rollers every single time, but do keep them airtight so they don't dry. That will be fine for a few hours, possibly even till the next day. As you can see the first coat, so thin and smooth, but a bit patchy. But that is better than one coat thick and goopy and bubbling with air, air bubbles. Always smoothing it off, cleaning it up. Now we do advise going for the longest roller possible for the smallest jobs. This wasn't long enough, so see what you can do. No, <laughs> you were joking. They were sold out of the little rollers. All right, second coat is up. What do you think? Closer inspection, probably a third one. We'll just finish that off. So it is better multiple thin and controlled coats than one thick one. Really check for your patches on this final coat. 
Lovely. As you may know, you can go up to 5,000, 6,000, but for this purpose, 500 or 600 is going to be uh, suitable. <laughs> Smooth and soft. <laughs> Ideally, we like to recycle old t-shirts, old socks, tights. This soft material is fantastic for when you need um, a fabric. Can you tell what Yoris has chosen to do? He's chosen waxing for the top, so he's just applying a wax, buffering the wax, and making sure that there's no fibres left over. A week after, the result of the wax, mm, we weren't convinced. So we decided to remove that layer and replace it with a top coat, with a clear sealant. It's easily applied through regular sprays at regular intervals using a spreading motion. Two coats and you're done. A coffee, like, a coffee table like new. Would you like to see the finished result? protected for years to come. Enjoy. Enjoy your coffee. Enjoy your DIY. Welcome back everyone. I'm Kat. And I'm Jorgos. And we are <laughs> Damn, that was so good. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea.